says, please, I'm sick of watching AI Byzantines just win every single game. Please fix it. Okay. I'm not sure if I should be happy. I am. I'm pretty happy. Um, but now I'm, now I'm scared if I'm, I'm happy, but I'm scared. Hello and welcome to another CK3 video. Today we are wondering what would happen if British were in Crusader Kings 3. This is something I have been wondering because Britannia does really poorly in CK3. They usually unite this island at the most and then don't do anything after that. So I, I'm wondering if British and Britannia was formed in the beginning of that campaign, would they actually do something? So here I formed Britannia and I want to see what they will do with this start. I think if anything, they might conquer a little bit of France and HRE, but I have a feeling they actually won't do anything. But if you guys like these AI only videos, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe for future content. Okay, I might have to retitle this video, even though I'm not going to. Uh, Poland is on a tear. I They are doing so good. So Poland, this is the biggest I've ever seen Poland over here. But for some reason, they also just got some land in France. So Poland is a monster right now. They're doing absolutely insane. And also HRE lost a whole bunch of southern territory as well. Tuscany, Lombardy, uh, these guys in province. So HRE is losing a lot of power. France is losing a lot of power because Poland randomly got some lands. Poland's getting land like everywhere. I don't know what Poland's doing, but they need to keep it up. I never see Poland do this well. And Britannia has just sat there and done nothing, which I kind of, I'm, I'm, I'm going to be honest. I'm thinking they might not do anything this entire game, which will make me super sad. Uh, but I, I hope they do something. I hope they somehow like inherit Norway or Sweden and then just go ham. But this Poland, we got to watch out for because Poland never does good and they're doing amazing. And then also these guys over here, this Persian empire, I think they're Persian. They're not Persian. This empire over here is doing amazing as well. They're taking big bites out of the Byzantines, which they usually don't. And they're also taking big bites out of these guys up here. So we have to like, th this is a weird game. I'm not going to lie. Poland usually doesn't do good. These guys usually don't do too good and then Britain's form so this is a weird game so far this is this this might be an exciting game to watch what happened what 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 happened I know what what happened to the British people that they're Croatian now I I don't know what ha I literally know this shouldn't have happened uh, we're gonna yeah, I, I got like no words for this. So, so for some reason, England got inherited by Croatia. So Croatia is now in the British Isles. I've never seen that even happen. I did nothing to do f to make that happen, but now we just have Croatia randomly up here. Uh, Britannia and Alba are here and Croatia. Hmm, interesting. And then also Poland absolutely blew up. They were doing great, but they blew up, which I'm really sad about. And now France has some ugly borders as well, but Dang, why'd you have to do that, Croatia? It You ruined the game. I hate you, Croatia. Why? This is a very unique game. So Ali is doing amazing. This is the biggest they've ever been. Uh, they're split right now because they just had a new ruler, so usually you lose some land. But I have to say, France is pretty much gone already. They have split apart completely. The Croatia and England is now just England. So now there's England, Britannia, and Alba in the British Isles. So hopefully they unite and they can expand because France is really weak. Uh, Lyon's doing really good and Castile's doing good, which is pretty good because sometimes the, the Spanish struggle. But France is pretty much out of the game already. Poland blew up and then no one else is really doing too much. Byzantines are actually having a hard time right now. They haven't been really expanding too much. All they really got was Georgia. And so really it's going to be an interesting game. Ali is doing amazing. They've expanded further than I've ever seen them expand this early into the game. And HRE is not doing too hot. They haven't been expanding and they've been losing chunks to other countries. But I really need the British Isles to do something. I formed them for a reason. They must succeed. They are not doing good anymore. Yeah, the Byzantines are starting to run out away with it because these guys collapsed, so they're getting really powerful and really strong, which they usually do. But Denmark is actually doing really good. They usually don't do too well in CK3, but they're expanding pretty well, and they're doing they're doing pretty all right. And this England, Britannia, Alba thing is still a mess, mess. But France is actually coming back, which I'm quite impressed because they were really crumbled, but they're actually eating up a lot of things that they lost. And then also, Man is not doing too good. They have just lost a lot of land from Castile and stuff. But I, I, Man, he's my man. So I, I gotta say, he's gonna do pretty good. But like, Castile is killing my man. 
Um, Burgundy is doing all right, but besides that, there's no big players right now. These guys really migrated right because uh, they usually have this chunk right here, but for some reason now they're all to the right, which is kind of weird but interesting. But the Mongols eventually are going to come and probably wipe them out. Uh, and by the way, guys, I usually don't cover this area, like the Russian territories and stuff, because it's usually just a mess the entire time. We pretty weak nations come out of here, and then the Byzantines usually just eat it all up. But Hungary's kind of making like a wall to the Byzantines, and Hungary's actually doing quite all right. The HRE is not doing much either. Um, I really need Britannia and England to uh, consolidate so they can uh, kill the Byzantines eventually. Look, the Mongols are here. Will they last? No! Do I want them to last? Yes. Do I want a mod to come up that makes them destroy the entire world? Yes. Is that mod there? No. If you're a modder and want to do that, please. Thank you. Goodbye. So the Mongols are actually doing pretty good. This is actually one of the biggest uh, Mongol empires I've seen in a while. They're, they're doing pretty good and I'm quite impressed, to be honest. I hope they kill the Byzantines. Uh, the Byzantines are doing great as as they always do um but Ruthenia is doing in novgorod and these three these nations here are doing really good which usually they don't but i also think the byzantines could easily kill them all same with hungary they could steamroll hungary hre is like the only one that can really defend against the byzantines at this point um every other nation besides hre and mongols the byzantines would literally crush anyone in the game um, man is still doing all right against the uh, Spanish people, Spanish people, the Spanish uh, kingdoms. And England and Britannia are pretty much the only ones left. Alba's pretty much died, and hopefully they unify between the two and start expanding. England's actually doing pretty good. They have land all th in all throughout Scandinavia, like little bits and pieces. So hopefully they keep on expanding and they unite uh, the British Isles once more. But th they really need someone to kill the Byzantines and developers. If a developer ever watches this, please. I'm sick of watching AI Byzantines just win every single game. Please fix it. Okay. I'm not sure if I should be happy. I am. I'm pretty happy, um, but now I'm now I'm scared. If I'm, I'm happy, but I'm scared because the Mongols actually took out the Byzantines. I've never seen them actually take out the Byzantines, but they ate the Byzantines. Um. So. Yeah, I, I don't know what the Mongols are going to do at this point. There's no one to stop them. Uh, I've never seen them actually successfully take the Byzantines. So this is this is going to be interesting. I think the Mongols might do what I asked and they might take everything all over. This is this is interesting. I am I'm ready for this. It's disgusting. This is this is this is crap. I this is I I wanted the Byzantines to die and they did. But at what cost? What what cost did we need the Byzantines to die? Because this border gore is disgusting. The borders are just completely messed up. The Mongols are still here, but they're not going to recover. They are uh, like 15k in debt. There's no way they're going to recover from that. Um, the AI is just really dumb, so they just keep going to war and they lose all their money. But the Byzantines probably aren't going to form up again. They're going to get their land eaten by someone. This is just absolute garbage mess here. Um, Britannia and England are now the last two. They have claims. England has claims on Britannia, so they might uh, unite it. Hopefully they do. But besides that, nothing's really going on. Everyone's still going on besides this disgusting Mongolian mess that has happened. Um, up here, Lithuania is doing really good, which I'm pretty proud of. And Novgorod, they usually don't do too good. And then some of these nations are doing good. And I think that's because Byzantines haven't expanded up there. But the Byzantines are no longer there because the Mongols blew up that blew up the Byzantines. It's the ugliest. I I have not seen uglier borders than this ever in CK3. This is this is disgusting. As almost the only places that don't actually make my eyes bleed is the HRE. Only place that's okay. Like. Hungary is some reason now England England became hungry it's honestly it's cancer this is this is the worst if you form the empire the British Empire British Empire in CK3 border gore this is disgusting absolutely disgusting it was so close it was so close to being united again oh it's so bad <laughs> Hungary what did you do you 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 made it blow up it it's ruined Britannia is ruined. Britannia, please eat it all up quickly, because it's disgusting. And then France lost Brit Brittany, and now Britain. I, you know, man, man's doing good. I, I like man. Man's eating up the Spanish nation, so that's good. Uh, 
yeah, it's Norway, Sweden, Lithuania. Lithuania is kind of, you know what, Lithuania, you got the approval. But England just blew up, and now the, the campaign's ruined. Hungary, just just do whatever you want now. I don't care. So much form. The only part that's not is this HRE part right here. And so Britannia's not strong enough to go against the HRE, so they probably won't go to war for this land. But besides that, it's pretty much united now. So hopefully before the end of the game, uh, we'll see them go after someone. I do have to say my man down in Hispania might unite Hispania and make Hispania but like a man version of Hispania. It's uniting the empire there. So they're doing pretty good. Uh, there is one person that's kind of reuniting the Byzantines, which is this name I can't pronounce. They are Greek and Orthodox, so they pretty much are the Byzantines. Hopefully they don't do. Also, these Russian nations are doing pretty good of Vladimir and Novgorod. I hope Vladimir doesn't form Russia because that'd be pretty bad. We don't need him to be in power again. Uh, but Hungary is also collapsing. But besides that, not too much is still going on. The Mongol Empire is still here, and usually once they collapse, they die out. But they're kind of sticking around, which is kind of interesting. It'd be really neat to see them at the end. And then Norway is actually getting close to uniting all of Scandinavia. Well, it looks like... I don't know. I feel like nothing's happened in this campaign. It's been pretty lenient. There's only like 50 years left. Uh, men did form Hispania, but since they're not a Catholic nation, they uh, just keep their original name. So it's man. They might lose some land right now to a crusade. So maybe they uh, might lose some stuff. I have to say the HRE is doing really good. But the HRE usually gains land from like successions, not really from wars. So it's not that impressive. But besides that, this is just an ugly game. There's no one did really good. It's literally like the start of the game, but uglier. Like, there's less land controlled by most people than at the start of the game. No one really gained any land. It's kind of pathetic. It's it's like, why have I watched? Nothing. Nothing's changed for the last seven hours. I watched the entire game stay the same. We are at the end of the campaign, and what happens if you form the British Empire in CK3? Uh, they, they get Iceland. That's about it. They And maybe lose a little bit of territory. But besides that, uh, forming the British Empire really didn't do anything. You could say maybe it destroyed Byzantium, but that was the Mongols, so really nothing happened. And of course I have to give someone the win, and it's going to be the Man Empire. They, they did really good. This empire tends to do really good. The AI Castilians usually don't do too good, so they just go over them all, and then France usually beats them out. HRE can't stop them because they're a little, uh, little little messed up right now but i have to give it to uh the empire of man they did really good and really there's not a single other person that looks okay maybe the hre i think this is not an independence war but besides that it's literally man and hre and man is way better than the hre so what happens if you form britain in ck3 nothing absolutely nothing